Hey guys, Ramblin' Bob here again with another cool review. This is not a very exciting product unless you actually like the product to not lie about how much power you're getting. Then it's very exciting. Um, that was like uh, the, the coolest intro I could give this. This is not an expensive panel. It's about 130 bucks. Don't buy it right now. It goes on sale at Harbor Freight anywhere between 90 and 100 bucks. Now that's about 90 cents to a dollar a watt. It's fair. Um, it's a traditional style panel. It looks like a solar panel. Um, I have two of them. It's hard to review these because unfortunately they're stuck to the top of my RV. The, uh, the folks who have followed my channel know that I have, right now I have five AccuPower 200 watt solar panels on my RV. Um, one is not hooked up. I have a, uh, cause you have, a, I have to have them in series for my systems. Uh, so one is like an extra one. And then I also have two 100 watt Thunderbolt monocrystalline solar panels. Um, now I, I personally, I am not a fan of Harbor Freight, nothing personal. It's just uh, like, there's some stuff there. Fantastic. It's just, I've had a lot of bad experiences with Harbor Freight. It has nothing personal. It's just an opinion. Everyone has them. Uh, but this is a product that I was completely and utterly blown away with. It, like I said, it's, it's not a million dollar panel. It doesn't have a million watts. But if you are in the market for something very simple, very cheap as far as it's local, you could drive down the street, get it, use it for an emergency, and store it away. A yeah, 100 watt uh, solar panel, I got, with no jokes, I got, I have two hooked up in series so I could get the voltage high enough. When I hooked up one panel by itself and tested it, I reached 120 watts max. That alone is unbelievable in the solar panel world. I guarantee every single person that hears my voice right now has purchased panels at one time and they set them up and they stand there and you smile and you go, free energy, free energy, come on the lords of the heavens of the sun, give me that ray. And next thing you know, your 100 watt panel brings you 50 or 60 watts and it's extremely frustrating. It is to the point of you just want to grab that darn panel, throw it back in the box, and ship it back and leave a negative. This panel has 518 reviews. Um, let, let, let me, let, if, if I can just bounce off target just for a second. I want to go to the reviews, and I want to go to only five stars. And I want to go, let me see. And The reason I'm doing this, and I apologize for the delay here, but uh, I want to show you something, um, if I can. Uh, a lot of folks like to hear me ramble anyway, so I guess it's okay. Um, I just want to show you something. Um, all right, we're almost there here. Let me see. Um, okay, I apologize. I should have remembered where it was. I don't remember where it was. Um, but, you know, I wish I could play music on this channel. That way we can have some, uh, you know, some background music. I'm a sound guy, so it's like, um, you know, it's just something in the background. But give me one second here. I, I really apologize, guys. Hold on. Okay, so do you, you see this review right here? September 23, 2022. Sorry it took so long to get to this. But here's what's funny. Notice what the review says right here. Bob, that's mine. That's my review I left last year, September 23, 2022. Uh, if I could read it to you real quick. Uh, a solar panel that produces what it says on the box. That alone, to me, is amazing. And more, I have owned many solar panels from many companies. That being said, if you need a quick panel or a full array of them, this product delivers. I was amazed by the power. I completely recommended, uh, I completely rec recommend these uh, fully expected to buy these at Harbor Freight, hook them up, get 50 or 60 watts out of the panel at best, and return them to go by name brand panels. I bought two as a test, put them in series, and it maxed out at 245 watts. That's not a joke. It's not a typo. I was unbelievably shocked. I have those little... Um, uh, you know those little DC meters that you can buy that's how I checked it not to mention I was getting about 200 and I want to say about 230 ish 
225 total into the system. Now you're going to lose on a conversion because that's 42 watts of, uh, of VOC and my system's only 24. So you're going to lose a little bit. But these panels, if I could go back down, that is my, and notice I have eight likes on that one, or happy faces or whatever they're called. But uh, that is a very important um, uh, kind of proof is in the pudding. I only like to review things that I have owned, tried, or if I do see something that's a good buy, I'll tell you that. But this I've actually, I own two. I would like to get more. Uh, but solar panels are starting to come down in price. I bought these at uh, $100 a piece, and I was blown away. To spend $200 and get 245 and a half watts out of those panels, and it was continuous, guys. This wasn't a one-time thing. Matter of fact, right now, I have them at the wrong angle. I have them flat on my RV, and RV being flat, that's terrible. That's why I have so much power up there. I have about... Uh, what do I have? I have 1,200 watts of power on top of my RV. And because they're flat, that's obviously not good. Not even in the summertime. You need a little bit of angle. That's just how solar panels work. You want to stare them directly into the sun. Remember how your parents told you don't look into the sun? Well, solar panels have to look directly into the sun. That's how they work the best. So th th this is this is my, my, uh, my, uh, my opinion to you guys. If you need a quick panel, if you need something fast, something that is reliable, I've, I've been shocked at the reliability. Like I said, I still use them now. They're hooked to my pet ground. Two of them are. Um, uh, if you need something that if something breaks on it, you just walk down the street and you return it at your local harbor, uh, harbor freight. Uh, there's been so many times where I ordered solar panels or something on the internet, and I, I don't know what these companies are thinking of. They ship them like crap. They don't do any protection. They show up shattered. They, you know, the the wires are are just so many problems with these companies. I don't understand why they can't just throw a panel in a box, protect it with some, you know, some some foam or some peanut kind of thing, and you know, g give me the product I ordered. I'm sure you guys have been frustrated with that. Okay, so 518 positives. You you, you saw the, uh, the the reviews. Uh, you can see the five star, four star, three star, two star, and the one star. They're literally not even there. 97% would recommend to other people. Uh, the price, the power, the quality. But like I said, get these if you want. If you want, this is not one of those links where you know they pay me to send you. This is something that I am passionate about because these products work, and I'm really su surprised. I, I was I was expecting to take it back. They weigh about 20 pounds a piece. They're three feet by approximately two feet three inches, just to give you an idea. So about 36 and a half by 27. Um, the wattage is 100. That is a misprint. If this is not a 120 watt panel, I would eat my hat. Amazed. And every single person that I've talked to that owned these, they were getting 19, 110, 115 regular. And I, I never even tested these at full perfect angle sun because, like I said, they're flat on an RV. And to pull in that kind of power flat, amazing they might even be 150 watt panels that for once in life the company who made it which is thunderbolt which is not a big company probably it's a harbor freight name it's not it probably doesn't have a lot of following they actually made a product that is better than the name on the box that i tip my hat to this company um, like i said i'm not a fan favorite you make a solar panel and call it xyz from rush and it works i'll buy it i have no problem with that no problem with that um it's a 24 volt panel, so I use two in series so I can get up to that. It says it's 24. Um, I think I got like 20, 20, I want to say 23, but the amps were there. I was really surprised it was putting out good amperage. It says 6.2 amps, but if you do the math, that alone, that's more than 100 watts. 24 times 6, hello, that's more than, that's more than 100 watts. So uh, let, let's uh, see, it's 24 times 6.2 that's 148 watts if you took the the voc of that that's that's a 150 watt panel so I, I i was completely amazed by these um not being a fan favorite awesome so let's get back here we got oh i'm sorry the 15 pounds that's the shipping weight 15 i thought they were lighter 15 pounds they're about an inch and a half uh wide which is like a tall you know uh not tall uh thick inch and a half thick 
Um, what else do we got here? Thunderbolt Solar. This is the actual SKU number. It's 57325. Go look at them in the store. You, you, you'll be shocked. Try them. And, you know, they return them. 30 days, you take. You go get your money back if you're not happy. Um, uh, this is a video I, I highly recommend you watching. This guy put 1,200 watts of Harbor Freight on a shed. And he talks nothing but positivity about them. That was why I tried it. I saw this guy's video. I don't know who it is. I just... You know, I, I kind of bounce around YouTube and I saw it. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so here's the panel. Okay, let me get this big here. Here's the panel. Don't Notice it has that traditional uh, Harbor Freight uh, solar panel, kind of old school look. I believe there's seven. Um, so let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six channel cells, okay? Um, it has these little plastic bumpers on the corner, which I like. And what I did is I, I took, a, you know, that, 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 that gorilla tape, that really heavy, crazy, or monster tape, whatever. You, you know what I'm talking about. You put the stuff on, you can't get it off. What I did is I put it along the edges here, okay, to make these black. I like all dark so people can't see it at night, and then your solar panels are there in the morning when you wake up. Um, I don't like the white lines. Like I said, I'm not a traditionalist when it comes to panels. I want to hide them. That's That's the whole point. Uh, out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. Um, so those are the corners. You can take them off if you wish. I recommend you leave them on. The solder joints on the connections in the port box, uh, very good. They use a lot of solder. I, I, I was amazed. Um, you can see it's a little caked on here on the connections, but it's not bad in, in, when you get it in real life. Um, it also has, which is unbelievable for a product this cheap, these are built-in aluminum legs that already are set for the average size. Um, you can change them, but it's, it's kind of frustrating. If you use them, uh, you, you know how you have a certain percent at winter and a certain percent at summer, and then you have that 50% uh, in between? That's what they're set for. They're set for like universal. But these legs are very solid, very light, and they're aluminum. They're not going to rust. You have plastic little bumper feet on them. Um, unbelievable product. I would like to have six of these, but the problem is I'm running out of space on my RV, and I want bigger panels. Maybe I'll sell, uh, you know, the older ones and get newer ones. But, you know, isn't that the game? You always upgrade. Um, this is the panel the other way. Uh, and then this is the most important part. Now, this is the part I did not like. Um, inside this junction box, uh, junction box, fantastic. There's there's a diode in there, so it doesn't drain your batteries. That's a big thing. I think all panels have that now. Um, I-65 rating, IP65 on the junction box. Now, the reason that that's really not too important is the junction box is obviously underneath the panel. The chances of getting a panel wet underneath, it's pretty rare. It has to be like a monsoon thing. Depending, especially like if you're 45 degree angle, for the rain to get under a panel at 45 degrees, that's got to be a hell of a storm. But now this is the only part that I did not like about this product. Notice these connectors. Um, I forgot, I think they're called SEA. I mean, I remember them from like, oh my God, like Radio Shack days. Do you guys remember these? Okay, these are actual ones that that uh, came with a, a, a product from Harbor Freight. I think they're called SAE. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it is. No offense, these are, ugh, I don't like them at all. So what I did on mine is I am an MC4 guy. I know a lot of guys out there like them, Anderson Power Poles. I just don't like them. And the one reason why, they're not waterproof. Uh, MC4 is waterproof. So notice there's two big, simple wires coming out. You don't have to split some weird thing. You know, little dinky cords. These are actually pretty thick. As you can see, kind of like a difference. I know it's a picture, but um, they're really that big in real life. I wish I had them here, but they're stuck to my RV. Um, all I did is very simple. Um, let me bring this back up here. You guys can figure this out. I, I have a video showing the MC4 connectors that Bouge RV makes a great crimper thing. Just you cut that off with some nippers, you put uh, MC4 connectors on there, and you're done. Now you have a waterproof, not IP65, which this is, not a fan of that. You have absolutely washer, rubber, waterproof MC4 connections. That's why it is the industry standard, because they work and they're quality. I, I have nothing against Anderson Power Pole. 
I just don't care for it myself. Everyone has a favorite. I don't care what you buy as long as you're happy with what you buy it. But this product, guys, if you need a quick panel, this is not a joke. Uh, just do me a favor. Don't buy them now. I know that's something you will never hear anyone say on the Internet. This is not one of those links where I would get a, a, a paid for it or percentage. This is 100% my opinion. I just want to help people who want to get started with this business of uh, solar solar stuff um and you know they don't know where to start you know i mean i was confused if i haven't found jason oid and hobo tech and, and will i i probably would have burnt my dang house down by now or burnt up my rv um so this is just i like these bare minimum start from scratch um solar ideas so everybody can um you know uh Kind of get an idea of where to start, how to learn, how to learn safely, start small. Don't start with a million watts. Don't start with 50 solar panels and all these connections and all this fancy grid tie. Don't do it. Just save your money. Learn slowly. Buy a small system. Look and learn and listen. Understand what you're doing safely and then upgrade. I know it costs more money, but you will be happier and safer in the long run. Okay, guys, I think that's all I can say about this product. I have nothing bad to say about it other than whatever these are. These S I think they're SCAs. I'm pretty sure. I don't like them. You know, I liked them back in 1984 when I was hooking up, like, you know, ham radios and stuff back in the 80s. Uh, now, I, I'm not a fan of it. MC4, guys. MC4. I mean, here's the funny thing. If I'm going to use this, I feel like I should be using these. You know what I mean? To me, it, it's like like rubber coated the whole thing. It's just I don't know. I don't like it. Uh, Anderson Power Pole kills these things completely. It rushes them out of the water. But uh, guys, check this out. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Like I said, I do not get a penny, not one red cent for putting this link. This is 100% um, as a helping thing for people to understand how to get started in solar cheaply and locally. Um, these are all over the country in the United States. So all you have to do is go to your local one. Go take a look at it. If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you buy it and you still don't like it, 30-day money-back guarantee at that store, at every store. I have that, uh, not that credit card, but that, that member-only thing. And here's the crazy thing. Um, when I bought them, they were 130 bucks, right? And uh, uh, to sign up for that um, that member thing, I did that, and I'm not a member, I don't really care for that stuff, but 30 bucks to sign up for a member, so I bought one panel, so I got the panel for 99 bucks. Now, they go on sale, you'll see coupons from time to time for like 80 or 90, uh, no, I'm sorry, 90 or 100, 90 or 100 dollars, 89.99 and 9999, 999, a lot of nines. Um, but uh, yeah, do me a favor, guys. If you need a quick panel or a, or a couple of them, you can parallel them or serial these together and you can set them in your driveway. You can use them when you're camping, fishing, hunting, whatever. Um, check these out. It's These are not a joke. I was, and they're safe. I, I thought, you know, you put out that much power, they're going to start on fire. I have them running into my peck run 24 7. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate all your, your patience. Uh, I know my camera got kicked over. I apologize. Um, but uh, check these out if you need a panel. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Ramble on and be safe out there. Bye.